Yo, what's going on guys, Arax here, welcome back to another Overwatch video and in today's video it is time to take a look at the anniversary event. One of my favourite things to do anytime a brand new event comes out is of course take a look at all the skins, emotes, voice lines, victory poses, etc. I love collecting all this stuff, so as I always do, I'm going to run you guys through all the different customization options so you can see exactly what this event has to offer. So if you do enjoy this, then like will be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. I also got pretty lucky on my very first free anniversary loot box, snagging a diva skin. We'll take a look at that in just a second. So, jumping into the hero gallery, I'm just going to go through characters alphabetically. So we're going to start off at the very beginning and see exactly what they have. So Anna doesn't have a skin. She does, however, have a dance emote. She also has a couple of voice lines. Follow me if you want to live. Shh. The adults are talking. And that's pretty much it for her. So jumping over to Bastion, he of course has a skin. Some of these ones you may have already seen beforehand. But we have the Dune Buggy skin. Looks pretty sweet. I'm liking the kind of orange sort of wireframe around it, or the sort of, you know, mechanical frame, so to speak. And of course the uh checkered bird as well. So that is your uh, Bastion skin. Of course, if we jump over to the uh turret configuration. This is what he looks like, and if you want to see what he looks like as a tank, then it is indeed this one. So I am definitely a fan of the orange colour scheme, quite like that one, so I might try and uh, grab that myself when I get a chance. He also has an emote. And of course, a couple of voice lines. <laughs> Jumping over to Diva, she, as mentioned, has a new skin. I actually got this one, luckily, from the box. This actually looks really, really cool. I do like the way the mech looks. I like the sort of design of it and, of course, the colour scheme. And then she's wearing this uh, rather interesting <laughs> kind of outfit. If we then jump over to the other options, you can, of course, see this is what the weapon looks like. And, of course, you've got her signature on the side with the uh, dice hanging down there. So, definitely a fan of this one. I think I'm going to use this one for a little bit. So, looking forward to checking it out in-game. And also, she has an emote. In fact, I think everyone's going to have an emote this time around. They're basically going to have the dance emote. So... That is pretty cool. I do quite like these ones. And these are her two voice lines, level up and no way. Level up. <sighs> no way. Then jumping over to Genji. Now this skin here, I hadn't seen it before because it's one of the ones that didn't leak, but it just showed up on my Twitter feed. And oh my gosh, this is absolutely incredible. Sentai basically makes him look like Kamen Rider or a Power Ranger or Beautiful Joe. However you want to say it, I think Kamen Rider is probably the closest one but I absolutely love this. I love the green colour scheme anyway. And of course, just the look of it in general is... I've always felt that until at least the Oni Genji skin came around, that Genji kind of had the short straw on skins. So this one is... I'm going to buy an untold amount of loot boxes until I get this. So that looks sweet. And of course, we jump over and take a look at his weapons. These are his shuriken. Of course, these turquoise colour scheme. Slightly more angular than usual. And this is his blade. Of course, the, the V there still carries across. So that looks super sweet. Then you've got Genji's dance emote. His two voice lines. I'm not impressed. You seem nice. I hate to kill you. Moving on from there to Hanzo. He also has a skin, and this kind of goes sort of hand in hand to a certain extent with the Genji skin, and that is the Cyber Ninja skin. Looks so awesome. On console where I play primarily, I actually haven't changed my Hanzo skin since I got the Lone Wolf one, but safe to say I am going to ditch that in favor of this. I love the clean lines, I love the clean color scheme, I love the kind of white and orange. Of course, the cyborg chest plate, but this just, you know, look at all around. Even the quiver, just everything about it looks really, really awesome. So I definitely need this one as well. And of course, taking a look at the weapons, this is what his bow looks like. Almost looks like something out of a Horizon Zero Dawn with this sort of techie look to it. But that is his Cyber Ninja skin. And then as for his emotes, this is his dance. And of course, his two voice lines. You have made an error in judgment. Just so. Moving on to our buddy Junkrat. He does not have a skin, but of course he does have dance emote just like everyone else. He also has his two voice lines. Dipstick. Oops, dropped something. 
And that's it for him. So jump on over to Lucio. He also has a skin. And Jazzy, this time around, his adoption looks really, really cool. In fact, this is the one you'll see on the banner. For a beginning, he's got this cool uh, kind of pimp hat, so to speak. On the back, his little pack actually looks like trumpets and whatnot. And of course, you've got the gold color scheme going all the way down. But he looks very, very cool, like in the purple tie. And of course, taking a look at his weapon, this is what it looks like. As for his dance, it goes something like this. And then these are his two voice lines. Everyone gets their plus one. Have some Lucy OOs. Next up, McCree. No skin for him, but he does have an emote. Of course, he has the uh, typical dance. Doesn't look quite as exciting as some of the other ones, but of course, it is slightly uh, <laughs> fitting to his character. And he also has his two voice lines. <laughs> what? Buckle up. Next round's on me. Moving on from there to May, she has the skin called Beekeeper, and of course it looks exactly like that, only a sort of space version, so I guess if you had space bees to beekeep, whatever it is, looks kind of cool, like in their yellow colour scheme and whatnot, and of course the actual uh, pod in the back has bee wings as well, and if you take a look at the weapon, then it's also got your bee colour scheme that's sort of yellow and black, that travels all the way down, and even a stinger at the front, so that is uh, pretty sweet. As for May's dance, it goes like this. And then these are her voice lines. I was only trying to help. So mean, honestly. Next up, Mercy. No skin for her, but she does, of course, have the uh, hustle dance emote. And the usual two voice lines. Questionable judgment. You're welcome. As for Arissa, same story. No skins, but she does, of course, have a dance emote. If you can call that a dance. And of course, her voice lines. Are you satisfied with your protection? Thank you for your compliance. Then jump on over to Farah. This one you may have already seen before. She does, of course, have a skin. It leaked a little bit earlier in the week, unfortunately. But this one, I really like the sort of tribal look to this one. So, of course, if you go and scan all the way around, blue being the predominant color scheme. She's also got a hood as well with the scarf hanging down there. But that does look pretty sweet. And of course, if you then jump over to her launcher then the pattern the design all carries around and it does look pretty cool i like these sort of hanging things down the front as well so that's that one jump over to her emote of course this is her dance and also her voice lines fly casual try me Then dropping down to Reaper, no skins for him. And as for the emote, this is literally the perfect option for Reaper. He uh, clearly doesn't want to dance. I mean, I was thinking to myself, this guy doesn't seem like the kind of guy to dance. And yep, that's pretty much it. He doesn't dance. So I like that one. As for his voice lines. I'll see you in hell. No one left behind. Then jumping over to Reinhardt, no skin for him. But of course he has the emote. This is his uh, dance, so to speak. Sort of like a ballroom waltz. And then here are his voice lines. Then jumping over to Roadhog. He does not have a skin. He does of course have an emote. So this is how Roadhog dances. That is actually quite amazing. <laughs> And then jumping out from there, going to, of course, the voice lines. I'm going hog wild. I don't like talkers. Next up, Soldier 76. Again, this is one that we saw earlier in the week. I do actually really like this one, Cyborg 76. There are quite a few Cyborg skins, or sort of, you know, Cyber Ninja, so to speak. And this one, I'm a big fan of. I actually play Soldier quite a bit, but I've never really been a fan of most of the skin options for him. So this is definitely one that I could see myself using. Plus, it's the closest you're going to get to him being bald. So uh, that I can definitely like. I also like how he's got these uh, sort of robotic feet as well, almost like the kind of feet you would see on Chappie, the uh, robot from the film. Either way, looks really cool. Take a look at his gun. This is what it looks like. Again, you know, orange and white. Seems to be a distinct color scheme for a lot of these sort of cyborg looks, but uh, I'm not complaining because uh, a cool color scheme. And of course, this is what his uh, healing beacon looks like. 
jumping out from there. This is how a uh, soldier dances. And this is what he has to say this time. I'm not your father. You're the boss. As for Sombra, same story, no skins, but she does, of course, have an emote. This is Sombra's dance. And these are her voice lines. I need a drink. Were you done talking? Then jumping over to Symmetra, this is another skin that didn't actually show up online beforehand, and that is the Oasis skin. This one looks really cool. I actually get a distinct sort of StarCraft vibe from this one, the uh, sort of Protoss race. So I don't know what you guys think. Maybe if any of you guys are StarCraft players, you might feel the same. Either way, looks really cool. Jump it over to her weapon. This is what it looks like. Very ornate around there. Even the kind of little sort of flower, rose petal sort of thing in there. That is quite nice. The attention to detail in there. It's really cool. Jumping back out of there, of course, taking a look at her emotes. This is how she dances. And then this is what she has to say this time around. <laughs> Setting up the car wash. What interesting ways your mind works. Torbjorn up next. No skins for him since he had two last time round. So he does, of course, have a dance. This is how he dances. And here are his voice lines. Hear me, baby. Hold together. Trust me. Next up, Tracer. I know everyone kind of typically rages whenever Tracer gets skins because she seems to get them all the time, but she does have a new skin. It does look really cool as well. Graffiti, she's just rocking a hoodie here. She's got paint all over her legs. Really cool high tops. And even like the uh, canisters on her back almost look like sort of, you know, paint canisters as well. So this is probably my favorite Tracer skin they've added to date. So I'm not going to complain. I'm happy with it. And this is what her gun looks like. Trace Maker even looks like a paint gun. Of course, you've got the... Uh, Paint down there with the Winston logo as well. That's uh, that's really funny. So I like that one a lot. This is, of course, how she dances. And then these are her voice lines. Did I miss something? Too slow. Moving on from there to Widowmaker. No skin for her, but she does, of course, have an emote. This is her dance. And these are her voice lines. Désolé. Oh, what a bore. Next up, jumping over to my boy Winston. No skin for him, sadly, but he does, of course, have an emote. This is uh, the Winston dance. And then these are his voice lines. It's my time to shine. Oh, yeah. Almost there. Zarya up next. A long-awaited skin. I like Zarya as a character, but I've never really liked the skins that she had this time around. They're, of course, going with the cyber look again. I'm loving the kind of cyber set for these characters. I would almost like cyber skins for every single character, but alas, that's not going to happen right now. But this looks very, very awesome. Of course, her hair coming out the top, but that cool, almost sort of Spartan mask at the front. Really liking that one. So this skin might actually make me pick up Zarya as a character because I can, uh, I can definitely rock with this look. And, of course, for her weapon... This is what it looks like. Complete contrast in colour, interestingly. This one's actually kind of blue this time around, so I suppose it sort of matches her hair, but still looks very, very awesome. As for her emotes, this is how she dances. And these are her lines this time around. Is that all? Peace through superior firepower. Then finally, wrapping things up with Zenyatta. No skin for him, so just on the emote front, this is his dance. And finally, his voice lines. Existence is mysterious. How disappointing. So that is pretty much it. Those are... All your skins, sadly no highlight intros this time around or any victory poses, but either way, a very cool selection of skins. There are a lot that I definitely want there. In fact, I think I pretty much want every single one, so 
I'm going to have my work cut out. I'm definitely going to go and try and snag those ones as soon as possible. But for the time being, that was a look at all the new customization items. There are, of course, new maps as well. Chance for you guys to jump in and check those out. So we may well look at those a little bit later. But for the time being, that's it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below. Let me know which ones you guys like the best. Let me know if you guys have got any so far already in your boxes. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.